Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys something that most of you probably don't know about. I think it's pretty safe to say, and that is using the projection cut method in Blender. So essentially, you can take any object you want and then take another object, simply line the two up, and then there is a certain tool you can use and it can actually cut out that shape into the object. So here I'm using this plane here that I just modeled into something as a stencil. So this is super powerful. I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. So let's jump in and learn something. So jumping into a quick scene in Blender here, what we're gonna do is just for example's sake, I think it's more interesting to delete the default cube and just grab something like a UV sphere. And uh, I'm just gonna bump up to something like 64. This is just optional. I'm just doing this as my um, demonstrating object here, 64 by 64. And let's say we wanna take some sort of sci-fi approach here and make some panels in this UV sphere here. In fact, I'm just gonna add in a plane. So I'm gonna go Shift A I'm gonna add in under the meshes a plane. I'm gonna go RX90 and press enter. And let's just say we wanna use this as a stencil to cut out this shape. So in this case, it's just a square. So let's just tab into edit mode, right click, go subdivide. Let's just make it into something interesting. And really it doesn't matter. This is just for demonstrating. So let's maybe select these here, extrude them up. Um, let's maybe extrude this down over here, scale it. Um, just, you know, you guys get the idea, like some sort of um, component that you wanna have on a surface that repeats. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna select the object that you wanna cut into, and then you're gonna tab into edit mode. And it doesn't matter if the mesh is active or not, you just wanna be into edit mode. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold in control or command, and then you're gonna left click on the object. And it can be a little bit tricky, so just kind of position yourself until you get it. So you might have to move around a little bit, but the idea here is once you're in edit, mo edit mode, you can hold in control or command, depending on what keyboard you have, and click on this object and it should select if you click on it right. It can be a little bit finicky, but once you get it, what you're gonna do, you're gonna line yourself up to where you want it to be projected. So in this case, I'm gonna go like this. In fact, I'm gonna just go into my front of a graphic view. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go F3 on my keyboard and you're just gonna type in here project and you're gonna to go to knife project. And now if you move over, you're gonna see it's now projected that on to here. And now we have it cut out. And that's really powerful. So let's go back into our front view. Over here, we still have the knife project option. Let's go cut through. And it does matter how you're positioned. So now you can see now it's cutting through on both sides. And go back into the front view, turn it off. And maybe I can now go to the side, reposition myself a little bit. And now go cut through, turn it back on again. And now you can see it's cut like this. So um, whatever, you know, like I'm gonna go back into the front view, just do this again. Now you can see here it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go E to extrude and just extrude this in and scale it. So now let's say that's cut number one. I'm gonna tab back out. Now I'm gonna grab my little cutter here and let's say I wanna make the same thing over here on the side. So I'm gonna bring it over, rotate it. And now I can go to my right orthographic view, select the sphere, tab into edit mode, holding in control or command, just click on this object here, the cutter. And now we have a new perspective. We can go ahead, F3, knife project. And now we have a projection that we can maybe extrude out this time. So this really has its place. This is an awesome tool. It's really powerful. And I bet most people don't know about it. So what I'm gonna do now is call this tutorial complete. This is more of a quick tip, but I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. And make sure to check out some of my other content and subscribe if this has been helpful.